Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for taking your time to listen to my uh, master project introduction with the title Physiological and Genetic Aspect of Manganese Tolerance in Bali in the Context of Waterlogging Stress Tolerance. My talk this afternoon will include some information of, about the waterlogging stress and manganese toxicity. Um, and then I will briefly mention about the QDL mapping. After that, I will be talking about my project, aims, method, and progress I made so far. Finally, I will end my talk with the relevant con conclusion and following works. First, waterlogging. Waterlogging affect, affects approximately 10% of the global land area um, and significantly reduce the growth and survival of the plants. It is one of the most important constraints for agriculture um, crop production. Um, the year loss resulting from uh, log water logging can be estimated between 15% uh, to 80%, um, depending on species, uh, soil types, and duration of stress, and the stage of plant development. Barley is the one of the major uh, grain crop in uh, around the world, and most Australian commercial barley uh, Varieties are waterlogging sensitive, and therefore developing uh, waterlogging tolerance varieties uh, will be the long-term uh, priority to for plant breeders. Um, what happens in the water waterlogged soil? When the soil is waterlogged, uh, acid water can um, produce produce a, a nasty soil within a few hours. In some soil types, the rapid um, addition uh, of water can generate a breakdown of soil uh, structure um, while reduce for, uh, pore space. Um, besides, uh, low so soluble, uh, solubility, slow diffusion, and increased microbial um, activities gradually reduce the soil oxygen content. And waterlogging uh, usually results in a decrease of uh, chlorophyll content and biomass, uh, as well as uh, inducing manganese toxicity. And also, redox potential will uh, decline. Um, when waterlogging uh, occurs, uh, oxygen deficiency would promote anaerobic respiration and metabolites. Uh, resulting from uh, anaerobic metabolism can substantially affect enzyme activities. Additionally, an, uh, energy metabolism due to anaerobic metabolism and loss of uh, photosynthetic capacity uh, cannot be maintained at a, 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 at a level that will drive the active transport. Subsequently, um, uh, nutri nutrients uptake, including nitrogen, um, phosphorus, and potassium, will be significantly reduced in roots and little transport to the shoots um, in waterlogged, uh, waterlogging soil. Mm, excess water generally uh, cause a sharp decline in redox potential. As soon as uh, free oxy oxygen uh, is depleted, uh, nitrate is utilized by a uh, soil microorganism as an alternative uh, electron acceptor mm, in uh, uh, respiration. Uh, and uh, manganese uh, oxide, uh, oxide um, could be the next uh, potential electron uh, acceptor. Mm. In acid soil, uh, especially, high level of water water soluble manganese can build up and cause uh, and induce manganese toxicity. Um, that's why water logging uh, induces uh, iron and manganese toxicity. Mm. And currently, more and more attention are, are paid on iron toxicity uh, and manganese toxicity, however, still significantly affects plant physiological aspects uh, during water logging. Uh, in early stage, um, we can find out some brown and or red necrotic, uh, necrotic spots on leaf tips, uh, spreading to the whole 
uh, whole leaves with the further development or uh, increasing increase, uh, enhance of uh, manganese uh, concentration. Um, Overuptake manganese could result in inhibition of ion uptake and damage to chloroplast um, structure. It is reported that manganese uh, toxicity will cause the iron and magnesium uh, deficiency as well as inhibit inhibition to enzyme activities uh, relevant to the photosynthesis. Manganese toxicity will also cause oxidative stress. Now turn to QDL's mapping. Um, plant breeding methodologies have changed gradually uh, over the past century as well uh, as new techniques and tools become available to breeders. Um, uh, many important traits for crops improvement, such as yield, um, quality, and quantity quantitatives uh, quantitative or uh, disease uh, resistance are uh, regarded as the quantitative traits and are controlled by multiple quantitative uh, trace low sites. QDL primary reading is an efficient, uh, efficient strategy for crop improvement and strategy in is based on the combination of desirable QDL through conventional cross using molecular markers. Once desirable QDLs are detected, uh, detect, and a, st a strategy for QDL primarizing exploits uh, uh, the use of five mapping. Um, this graph concerns about the results from my uh, supervisor, measure previous works, and um, mapping of uh, YYXT and Franklin um, showing in black and blue uh, showing quantitative trade low sites associated with uh, water logging tolerance and salinity tolerance. Okay, turn to my now turn to my um, project. My current work is to develop develop uh, an efficient screening methodology for manganese tolerance on TX and nitrogen and be used in the pre experiment and collecting uh, some informative results for measurement uh, that show in um, the measurement chlorophyll, uh, content of mass, leaf injury, and manganese content. <coughs> and then select DH lines from, same, uh, from the same parents and treat it as water logging. Um, use QDL mapping tools, uh, locate each physiological trait on valley genome. <coughs> Um, all these results from my uh, previous work and current experiment can uh, be possibly considered as the uh, base of my uh, following experiment. Um, these are two pictures from developing uh, screen methods, um, and it's clear that um, two varieties are suf uh, suffer differently uh, from manganese toxicity in various uh, concentrations. Mm, at increasing concentration of manganese uh, in nutrient solution, uh, biomass uh, decrease in both nitrogen nitrile and TX, uh, both of loose fresh weight and dry weights were more severe at high manganese uh, concentration level in comparison with manganese con uh, low con uh, manganese concentration in both varieties. However, uh, there's no significant difference between um, these two varieties. <coughs> uh, based on the relative biomass and chlorophyll contact um, figures, um, wild barley types uh, such as uh, CPI and SPY01 uh, uh, show uh, performed well tolerance in manganese toxicity. Uh, uh, also, TF26 uh, and Yerong uh, also played uh, uh, show evidence tolerance. To, uh, to uh, compare with other genotypes. Um, this is the cluster combined uh, spot value and uh, biomass, uh, including uh, drive, drive, uh, drive weight and fresh weight of the shoot and root. Uh, genotypes in the cluster show different, uh, different tolerance of manganese toxicity. As a result, um, we can select the most different uh, genotypes 
um, as parents for uh, following uh, experiment uh, like a uh, QDR mapping, uh, such as CPR, uh, CM72 uh, and Gardiner, um, Yerong and uh, Frankly. <coughs> Summary. Increasing manganese concentration in new uh, nutrient solution intensified development of manganese toxicity on leaves and decrease of biomass. Um, visual symptoms from different genotypes indicate a different tolerance to manganese toxicity. And chlorophyll content and biomass also <coughs> shows evidence variation among uh, 20 genotypes. Finally, genotypes with significant difference in tolerance were identified and could be probably um, used in future works. Uh, my future works will combine uh, manganese tolerance and waterlogging tolerance. Um, still, uh, 20 genotypes will be uh, grow for a say and collecting uh, these four um, different kinds of traits uh, would be you, uh, applied in the QDL mapping. Uh, at last, I would uh, give my appreciation to my super, uh, supervisors, Sergei, Misha, Nana, and Zed, and all my lab mates and ever help me. Thank you. Oh, and this is a reference where you might be interested. <laughs>